Welcome to The Bid, where we break down what's happening in the markets and explore the forces changing the economy and finance. I'm your host, Oscar Polito. Today, we're highlighting our new weekly short-form series from the BlackRock Investment Institute called Market Take. Market Take is a quick digest of what's driving markets. Subscribe to Market Take wherever you get your podcasts. What's driving markets? Welcome to Market Take. Each week, we'll bring you our insights on the latest market and economic trends that are impacting investments. I'm your host, Wei Li, Global Chief Investment Strategist at BlackRock. In addition to summer seasonality, there are three drivers of markets right now. Number one, Fed repricing. Number two, what's happening to the yen. Number three, what's happening to earnings. Let me unpack them one by one, starting with the Fed. In response to better behaving inflation prints in recent weeks, markets got excited about cuts coming, a lot of cuts coming soon. In this cycle, we're probably going to get two cuts this year, but markets are pricing seven cuts from now until the end of 2025. And let's not forget, we're looking at fiscally expansionary policies. We're still probably looking at a high for longer environment. So I would caution against extrapolating recent repricing momentum. In a similar vein, let's look at what's happening to the yen. Yen has been strengthening in recent weeks after a prolonged period of weakening. Now, that has been driven by real rate differentials. But yen, a stronger yen, has global read across because a weaker yen has been associated as the founding leg of popular global carry trades. So when that is unwinding, it has implication for broader assets as well. Now, the Bank of Japan meeting this week is probably a live meeting, but the big picture remains that they are going to be very careful exiting decades-long deflationary mindset. So yes, we expect them to exit ultra-loose monetary policy, but we are not expecting them to tighten policy aggressively. And that's important context. Uh, And again, also, uh, I would caution against extrapolating recent momentum. Now, moving over to earnings. I think in the context of recent market volatility, it's easy to miss the big picture on earnings, which is that they are actually coming in quite okay. U.S. equity markets are tracking 12% year-on-year earnings growth for Q2 versus consensus expectation of 9% at the beginning of the reporting season. So earnings are actually holding up okay. And I think beyond the current technical driven air pocket fundamentals will prevail and earning strengths, the ability of companies to translate investment into profitability will continue to be how we select across equity market. For more details, read our weekly market commentary. Go to www.blackrock.com forward slash weekly hyphen commentary. Thank you for tuning in. If you have enjoyed this episode, subscribe to Market Take wherever you get your podcast. This material is intended for informational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice, a recommendation or an offer or solicitation to purchase or sell any securities, funds or strategies to any person in any jurisdiction in which an offer, solicitation, purchase or sale would be unlawful under the securities laws of such jurisdiction. The opinions expressed are as of the date of publication and are subject to change without notice. Reliance upon information in this material is at the sole discretion of the listener. Investing involves risks. BlackRock does and may seek to do business with companies covered in this podcast. As a result, listeners should be aware that the firm may have a conflict of interest that could affect the objectivity of this podcast.